Good morning, good morning. And I hope you're having a great day as you're watching this one. And if not, well, things are gonna be okay in time. Don't worry much. So for today, we're gonna be covering about this Ferrari Essence line as you've seen in the thumbnail. And yeah, I just woke up, but I still wanna review this uh, line. So first one that we have is Ferrari Essence Neroli. It is a really beautiful, it's a beautiful orange blossom, Neroli scent. It actually reminds me of Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino, although this one is it's stronger. It lasts uh, longer in my skin. It makes me feel really good. I mean, it's a good vibe scent. It's like nothing, nothing's gonna go wrong in your day. The neroli and the orange blossom gives this sweetness aside from its citric qualities. Now uh, for casual, this is perfect for the office. I would not recommend this for the most, let's say more formal events like black tie events. This one lasts on me around four or four and a half hours. Tops, stunning bottle, great quality for its price. You should have this instead of Tom Ford's and Rolly Portofino. So yeah, we're gonna be moving out of this setting right now and gonna be making my coffee. So yeah, let's go. And the next one that we're gonna have, it's gonna be Noble Fig. This one is an odd one for me. And as you can see, it has the same bottle, same nice gorgeous bottle. But for me, this one opens up with a lot of fig leaves to be more precise and an abundance of uh, sage which doesn't meld well with my skin chemistry. I think this one is an odd one. I don't know where to actually wear this. It feels kind of a... Uh, it reminds me of diptych offerings with their fig notes. But... I think this one would be a very casual scent. I don't actually know what time of the day should I use this. Well, it lasts on me about 3-4 hours tops. Noble Fig, for its price, you get that diptych feel. Given the price of uh, diptychs, you get that kind of fig for a fraction of its price. Yeah, we'll go on to the next scent which is essence musk so yeah let's go huh. so now we cover essence musk as you can see with the bottle really nice bottle here it's kind of basic yes it is cool it is crisp it makes me feel dapper this one is a musk based fragrance as you as you've uh, noticed from the title, it is cool, it is crispy, it's professional, of course, for the uses, professional setting, in the office, um, maybe casual, yes, it would cut it, but not really for the most formal of the events as well. It has this gentleman appeal. Whenever I wear this one, it, I feel very dapper. Um, it is, it gives you that gentleman vibe lasts for about four to five hours again on my skin very acidic skin chances are if you're not acidic um, it could last for more on your skin or just spray it on your clothes but if you're looking for a really casual scent that cut it for the office really dapper essence musk is for you it's cool crisp it has aquatic facets all right so we'll be moving on with the next one so follow me let's go So next one would be Cedar Essence, one of their best aquatics on the line. It's even one of the best, um, one of the more creative aquatics in the genre. Instead of just being a straight up aquatic scent through and through, this one has notes of sweet watermelon. It has this cold mint note. 
and of course um, the aquatic nodes and musk at the base. This one, upon application, makes you feel cold, makes you feel a little sweet. The sweetness rounds out this um, aquatic composition. This one could be used um, really casually, going onto the office, going onto the gym. Not the best option for formal events, but I think it would still cut it though. And this one lasts around three, uh, three, four, or five hours on my skin, depending on the temperature outside. One of my choices, top choices for their essence line. It is really good as an aquatic scent. Um, it's not boring, and it feels like it makes me more confident. You know, I feel really cool when I wear this. So, yeah, you should definitely try this one. I'll be finishing my shower and. I'll be moving upstairs to get dressed, so... Ha! Okay, we're gonna be going with uh, Essence Oud. It has this really nice, lovely bottle. It actually opens up with this sweet jammy rose. With this uh, Oud at the background. The jamminess of the rose slightly reminded me of the Satin Mood line. Even just for a brief moment, but actually at the base, uh, the oud sours up and it seems like it's not that compatible on my skin. But it gives you that um, Middle Eastern vibe because of the oud and the rose in its composition. Yeah, it is the strongest projector as well in their um, essence line. It's one of the more, let's say, longer lasting fragrances on their line. Essence Oud is definitely one that starters for Oud should experience. You would feel classy. Actually, it smells more expensive than its uh, price. It lasts on my skin for right around 6-7 hours, which isn't bad. For semi-gourmand lovers out there who wants their Oud sweet and not sour, I think this one is for you. I think it just sours up on my acidic skin, but hey, I think you should give this a try if you ever see this online or you see decans of this in your Facebook groups. This one has been out for so long. Um, this one was the first ones to ride that um, that wood hype in Western fragrances. So yeah, um, don't forget to give this one a try. This one is really nice, really lasts, it projects, makes you feel like you know a rich man. So yeah. Let's move on to the next one. So yes, the next one that we have is Leather Essence. It has this um, sweet cinnamon. Upon the initial blast, you would immediately feel this sweet cinnamon. And it is paired with this spice called cloves. Um, I think it is the same spice that could be found in uh, Musk Ravageurs composition so yeah it has that familiar feeling for me spicy cinnamon spicy cloves um, there's also this sweetness of uh, vanilla that I could feel in it it also has the abundance of this brown it's like cured brown leather it is really I'd say formal it's a formal scent um, it smells more expensive, definitely, than what its price is. It smells really luxurious with its brown, cured, supple leather. And that's what you'll be getting for the rest of its life. For me, I get like 6 to 7 hours off of these. Leather Essence, one of the most uh, beautiful bottles on their Essence collection. I gotta admit. I love that leather trim around that glass, polished glass bottle. If you can get your hands on this, it is a quality cheapy. We'll be moving on to the last one and this one is called my favorite Womo. Let's go. So moving on to my favorite, it's gonna be Ferrari Womo. I think arguably one of their uh, most famous creations because this one was made by Alberto Marias, same as who made uh, 
Jeremy's uh, fragrance office for men, I think. Fragrance one, office for men, yeah. And this one contains that same leather that you could detect in the vintage Fahrenheit. Yes, I've said it. This one also has citruses at the top, this orange, there's some green citruses on the top. You could also feel the uh, nutmeg in this. It's quite, it's quite prominent if you ask me. As the master perfumer Alberto Marias has done with this, it's, it's just superbly blended to the point that this one becomes the most masculine of the bunch. And the leather in here is just, you know, it's, <clears throat> it's on a different wavelength with leather essence. Leather essence has this sweet, um, almost, almost vanilla type leather, but in here, it's got this spicy leather. It's really manly, superb, superb creation, really manly. Um, it lasts on me six, seven hours, so I think that would suffice for any, anywhere I'd go. So yeah, um, that has been my top picks for the Ferrari Essence line. I hope you like this one. And if you're still here, please do subscribe, like, share, and hit that notification bell so everything that I upload, you won't miss. Now, tell me your thoughts below in the comment section which of this Essence line is your favorite. So I think I'm gonna be finishing this one off. Thank you for your time. I hope you found this useful. These are just my recommendations, opinions, and suggestions. And at the end of the day, you do you. So what else are you waiting for? Go out, get this sense, be sexy. I'm out.